Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today, this weekend, we are painting my cabinets. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a long time and this is the perfect opportunity. Now I did purchase my paint through the Heritage Collection Paints on the internet. I also can get it at my local hardware store. Um, this is what they look like. And this color is called Cashmere White and it is it is a built-in bonding primer, wax finish, and exterior grade top coat with this paint. Now, I'll probably have to do two coats with white to cover this, but, you know, your mileage is going to vary depending on what color you're painting over what. This paint goes a long way. It is a um, chalkboard paint. Now, there is a special paintbrush that I don't have with me. It's in the bathroom. I have to go get it, but the paint... We'll do my cabinets and then I bought because I'm doing a kitchen this is um all-in-one deglosser degreaser cleanser and this is an I think it's an eight ounce container and it should be enough to do my cabinet fronts I'm just doing the cabinets and then the fronts um I'm not gonna paint the shelves although maybe I doubt it I'm just probably gonna do the front and this little lip here and this, but I'm not painting inside. I will paint under and I will move my stove, but you'll see all that. So the first step, obviously, is I have to take all this apart. So what I have done to make life easier is I'm drawing my kitchen. So this is how it's gonna look. Down here I have, a, it's so rudimentary, but I have a drawer and a door and then two doors. So I took these baggies and I numbered them to correspond with the number one is the drawer. Those are the drawer pulls. Number two is the cabinet below. And this is all the hardware for cabinet number two. And I'm just going to store them all in here. We don't need to be losing stuff. So everybody gets a baggie. I bought these at the Dollar Tree, so I'm not really worried. Um, so obviously you paper sharpie, I've got screwdrivers, and I have my drill that I can reverse. Just be super careful that you don't um, strip your screws. Now I need to get off these little foam, or these are felt door stops. And I also need to buy some new ones, but I think I can order those on Amazon. So for right now, I'm sorry neighbors, if you hear my door shutting after we're done. But this is gonna take several days anyway and I won't touch my cabinets, everything has to dry. So I have the first door off. It's gonna get cleaned really well with this degreaser and deglazer. And I will bring you along while I do that. But first things first, I need to get all the doors off. I should organize inside my cabinets and clean them out, we'll see. I should though. All right, let's get everything moving here. All right, guys, we gotta start cleaning these cabinet doors and drawer fronts. This is gonna be probably the most time consuming part, I would say. Took me about two hours, I know, to uh, get all the doors and drawers off and kind of get everything where it needs to go. What the directions are telling me is wipe this on with a rag or scour and let it sit one to two minutes. And then we're gonna wipe it off. Um, undiluted. So right now I'm just wiping it on the fronts of these cabinets. And I'm kind of giving them a scrub, there's like you know, grease on them. They're nasty. Let's just be truthful here. But it's okay. We're going to get all of this done like lickety split. Oh, I have extra. I have extra for. Um, I think I have like 20 drawers and cabinets, like drawer fronts and cabinet doors that all need to be handled. So, and these are fronts and backs, unfortunately, that needs to be done. I think I'll have plenty of this cleaner, and then I need to go in the kitchen and do the same thing. 
Now I did number up all of my um, baggies with all my screws and hardware from each door. So that's good. But this is what we're going to do. It's going to de gloss them and degrease them, which is what we need to happen to get the best option for it to take the paint. All right, so we're going to do this. So we're going to go around and clean everybody up, and then they have to dry. Okay, so these here have two coats of the white. They're probably going to need a third. And this is what one coat looks like. I'm giving them about 30 to 45 minutes to dry in between, but there's a good indicator. If I get in really close, you'll see that's still not covered. So hopefully, if I need more paint, I can get more. Um, that's fine. And I also did one on the kitchen, so hold on. And now we have, yes, I'm lazy and didn't take everything out of the cabinets. We have one coat in here and we will definitely need a second coat probably a third but getting the first coat on was the challenge and no I didn't paint the sides of the cabinets that are next to the stove nobody sees that but I did paint under the cabinet oh and I missed a spot I need to go get that all right so that's where we're at all right guys this is coat number three of the white I'm loving it but as you can see it's gonna need one to two more coats to fully cover which is what I want. Look at it up against the black. Don't mind my mess, but it's just a disaster in here for right now because paint. So yeah, this is it. Um, I think you can get a better view over here of it's just taking a lot of coats to cover. If I need to, I'll order some more of this paint, which is, oops, sorry, right here. And that's I'm about halfway. And I've, like I've said, on the kitchen I've done, this is my third coat, and I've done three or four coats on the um, drawers. I haven't started the cabinet doors yet, but this is just white. I can always, I think one of my hardware stores has it too, so I can run and grab another one. That bottle shipped with the cleaner was like $36. So I'm going to get all of my kitchen done under $100. And you can't beat that. And then I'm painting the walls gray, but that'll be a later project. All right, back to painting. All right, so this is four coats of the white, and I think I'm happy with the coverage on the four coats. So I think that looks good. We'll double check when I get to everything else, but I think we're done. Look at my disaster of a house. With the drawer fronts, I just have to dry, and then I can move them off. Oh, goodness gracious, guys. This is what I'm going to go to bed tonight with my house looking like a disaster. I have to order more paint, so it's going to be a disaster for some time. But I was able to get, I will get this one done, this one done, that one done. Hopefully this door painted, although this side needs another coat. And then the other three need one or two more coats on the front. Um, but, and then all the stuff, my house, I will tell you, I'm loving the white cabinets and I am so glad I made this decision. The only thing I would have done different is bought the primer, although there was question if I needed primer to go from light oak to white. And I'm here to tell you, yes, you do. I know I have a sink full of dishes because I can't get to my dishwasher. Um, this paint has to cure for 24 to 48 hours. At least that's what I'm doing. Um, before I put the drawer pulls on and put the doors up. The doors have to dry for a couple of days. So it's going to be a slow process. But when it's done, I'm going to be happy. All right, guys, that's the end of today's vlog. I will talk with y'all later. Bye. All right, guys, I'm finally got my paint in and I'm painting the rest of these doors to go on my cabinetry. There's Alex. These doors need to be painted. But I'd like to show you a little something. Don't judge my kitchen. It's a mess because I'm painting. These doors have been up for weeks. And I just noticed this morning that I hung that one upside down. What, Lori? What is wrong with you? <laughs> so now I'm going to turn it around. That's my job 
today, besides painting the cabinet doors. All right, guys, it's done, done, done. We have white cabinets. I think it just makes everything lighter in here. As much as I enjoy my kitchen. All right, I hope you enjoyed. Oh, I'll give you a close up. White is hard, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and if I had any advice, primer, primer, primer. If you're going white, you need primer. Now, I don't hate these because these were old cabinets, so it's fine. All right, now have a good one. Bye.